This generation is special because we've really unlocked this new capability to connect with the characters and worlds in a way that no previous generation has allowed. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's gonna usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. Bugger's made a mess of things, so do watch your step. It's gonna usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. Oh no, Barrett, no. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, Something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. It's gonna usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about when you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load. That speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. The music is amazing. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family.
Well, 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 here we are again. Here we are again. Xbox in the same situation they've been in the past fucking two major releases. I don't understand. Before I even get into this shit, let me play, play you guys a clip that I made that uh, something I said in a video uh, going on three months ago. This is a game I guarantee you 100% will be 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. I guarantee it. This whole slate of games are coming out in 2024. It's going to be 30 frames per second. Because if they couldn't get fucking Redfall at 60 FPS, you know what you chance do they have of getting any other goddamn game uh, pa uh, past that mark? And that was absolutely fucking correct. I was absolutely correct. I'm not bragging. It wasn't hard to see, man. My expectations for Xbox could not be any lower. So I fucking knew when a game like Redfall launches at 30 fucking frames per second for what for whatever reason, you got still cutscenes, horrible animations, bad graphics, not a lot happened in the world. And that game is still 30 FPS when their fucking flagship game of duration Starfield is still to this fucking day 30 frames per second on a world's most powerful console. Why did anybody, why did anybody think that Hellblade would launch with at least, at the very least, a 60 FPS mode? It's because Xbox does not give a fuck. This goes back to the whole quality control thing, the Game Pass model. Why are they going to bother making it 60 FPS, 120 FPS, as high as they possibly go? Why are they going to make it run as po uh, best as it possibly can? Because they don't give a fuck because they got your monthly subscription money already. So to them, they don't give a fuck if it was 20 frames per second, as long as you're paying that monthly fucking subscription. Now, if anybody's confused here, nobody knows what I'm talking about. Hellblade 2 is Xbox's first console exclusive of the year. The very first. It's supposed to be one of the flagship games. It's one of the games everybody's waiting for for a while. This game was, I think, fucking announced, what, 2018, 2019? is when it was announced. So, five years later, we're finally getting it in late May. And they just they just came out with it. It just confirmed that this game is fucking going to be releasing on the Xbox Series X at 30 fucking frames per second. What the fuck? As if Xbox has not been already fucking up as it is. As if they, if they already got enough fucking bad press, bad publicity, bad fucking reputation, all this shit combined. They just released four of their first party IPs on their direct competitor's platform, that being PlayStation. They released some games on the fucking Switch. Some of their major titles. All trash games except for Hot Fire Rush, but their major titles. One of which is fucking running better on the PS5 than the goddamn Xbox Series X. They have exclusive, I repeat, exclusive content come out for Sea of Thieves on PlayStation that is not available on the X side, Xbox side. That makes my fucking brain want to explode. How the fuck do you even let that happen? So with all that going on, and how much shit they received, and they fucking know it, they fucking see the press and shit, they know they got all kind of shit for Redfall of all games, released 30 FPS, they know they got shit for Starfield, released at 30 FPS, and they fucking try to cover up Todd Howard's lying bitch ass, it's a creative decision. Well, has every goddamn first party game this generation been a creative motherfucking decision? Because fucking most of them... It's 2024. We are four years into the console generation, we are four years into the fucking world's most powerful console's lifespan, right? And it's the third goddamn game now that's releasing at 30 frames per second. I'm, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it a goddamn again. It needs to be said. The world's most powerful console. Not my words. This is what they advertise. This is the only thing they advertise. This is the only thing that they try to clench onto. The world's most powerful console. Power your dreams. All that shit. They try to claim the power constantly. But they can't even get that shit right. Why in the life of me would they think it's okay to release this game at 30 frames per second? I'm not... Listen. Everyone's saying, it's a graphical powerhouse. Maybe so. It's UE5. Maybe so. But I don't care what excuses are. There's no excuse in this generation. Why the fuck do we buy new consoles? Why the fuck do we buy a PS5? Why do we buy the Xbox Series X? Better graphics. Better performance. PlayStation side of things, they've been keeping good on that promise. Even if they have a game, you got fidelity mode and performance mode. Fidelity mode and performance mode. A lot of third-party games are doing that as well, and I fucking love it. And I always play it on performance mode because I like the better performance. I like the higher frame rate, 60 frames plus. That's that's what I like. But I should have the fucking option in 2024, especially with a first-party game. So I don't want to hear this shit about 
Well, they didn't want to do performance mode because they didn't want to jeopardize the integrity of, the, of how the game's supposed to be played. It's intended to be played on 30. Suck my dick. That sounds like a cop-out to me. It's 30 FPS because that's all the fuck they can do. And th this game being 30 FPS baffles me because, yes, it might be a gravel powerhouse. It might be might come out and be like one of the best looking games you've ever seen, but there's not a lot happening on screen. This is a cinematic game. There are black goddamn bars on the screen, which which I cannot stand. But this this is like the like the order 1886 kind of game, man. This is not like Horizon Forbidden West where you got a ton of shit happening on the screen, ton of shit in the background, a lot of computing power going on, and that shit still still is over 60 FPS. This game, there is zero excuse, at least in 2024, not to have that option. And it's another goddamn L from Xbox. Why is this guy swearing so much? Why is he so angry? What the fuck is his problem? Calm down, bro. This is a video game. Shut the fuck up. I am sick of Xbox this shit. This whole generation, PlayStation included in this, has been about what? Better graphics, better frame rates. That's why we buy new hardware, you dumb Fucks. Why would I buy a new fucking console if I if I was not getting better fucking graphics and better performance? I would have stayed the goddamn last gen, wouldn't I? These cocksuckers at Xbox, man. Phil Spencer, all the fucking people who worked on the consoles, all people who worked on the Xbox One X, which is another goddamn lie. Their whole marketing before this product scroll even come out, the whole thing, we're gonna get you know, frame rates up to 120 FPS. We're gonna see frame rates we've never seen before. Frame rates we've never seen before. Well, guess what? We've been seeing 30 FPS since the fucking 70s. It's gonna usher in resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. I'm fucking tired of this shit, man. It's fuck. It's it's always something with Xbox. And then you got people trying to make excuses, right? Let's talk about all the fucking uh, backtracking, all the fucking people trying to cover this shit up and defend Xbox and this shit. Oh, Dragon Do Dragon's Dogma 2 released 30 FPS, and no one's got a fucking problem with that. I have a huge problem with that. I have a huge problem with that being 30 FPS on consoles. But guess what? Fuck faces. That is a third-party publisher. PlayStation has no control over that. Xbox has no control over that. We're talking about first party here. But I don't care if it's first party, third party, second party, what the fuck ever. 30 FPS in today's day and age is purely fucking unacceptable. Matter of fact, when a game's 30 FPS on console, it's third party. If I can get it on PC, that's where the fuck I'm getting it because I want the performance. I was going to buy Plague Tale Requiem on PS5. That shit said 30, 30 FPS, I think 1440p. So, ooh. Fuck that shit. Got that shit on PC and was playing it well over 60 frames per second, 40, 1440p, ultra wide. That's the way I like to fucking do it. I am accustomed. I am used to 60 FPS plus minimum. 60 FPS is the absolute lowest and like it should be, like they fucking said. Both PlayStation and Xbox, I'm going to include uh, PlayStation in this shit. A PS5 has goddamn 8K on the motherfucking box. Xbox has been advertising 8K, all this other shit, right? They they keep throwing shit buzzwords out there. 8K, 120 FPS. Well, fucking show it then! Now, am I saying that Hellblade 2 should be 120 FPS? No, absolutely not. But 60 frames per second should be the absolute standard. And if you want to keep putting that 30 FPS mode like PlayStation is, that, that uh, fidelity mode where it's 30 FPS, 4K, fine. Keep that. But give us the option... For a performance mode, that's all we want. If, if Hellblade 2 had performance mode, this would be a mute point. That nobody would be talking about it because it wouldn't be an issue. Because they gave us the bare minimum that we expect now from these next generation consoles. Stop making excuses, man. This shit is over. It's over. People, you still have the Xbox guys staying loyal, staying true when they fucked you in your ass already. They gave away your games. They delivered on nothing this entire generation. These games are fucking trash. A vow come out later this year. All pure garbage. You still have the gall. They slapped you in the fucking face with their dick and put their fucking first party games on the PlayStation of all places. And you guys are still fucking fighting the good fight. Why? Give up. The war is over, Rambo. Go the fuck home. You ought to see these stupid arguments on Twitter. People trying to backtrack it. People trying to justify this or that. Well, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is 30 FPS and no one's saying shit about that. You fucking stupid asshole before you even tweeted that. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, first of all, is not a first party game from PlayStation. But second of all, it's 30 FPS 
in fidelity mode, but guess what, fuckface, if you bother to play the game or do any research at all, it has a 60 FPS performance mode. Now, I'll admit that 60, F F uh, that 60 FPS performance mode does not look very good graphically, but it's still 60 fucking FPS, and that's the way that I goddamn play it, but the option is still there, you dumb fucks. But even past the 30 FPS thing, right, even past that, I was just told, I, I, the way I understand it is, right, so this game's been worked on for what? It's been like development for like eight, nine years. It was announced 2018, 2019. This thing is supposed to be only five hours fucking long. Five hours long. Very linear game, right? Uh, combat linear focused game. What a lot of Xbox guys would call, call a walking simulator, which they all claim to hate. This kind of game this is. Black bars, cinematics, 30 FPS, no ray tracing. Very tight and controlled combat, not a lot of movement, not a lot of variation. That's what I see so far from the trailers I've seen, the videos I've seen. It play, it's going to play a lot like the first game, which is not a bad game. It's not great. It wasn't very popular. Am I looking forward to Hellblade 2? Yeah, I'm going to check it out, but I'm not super hyped for this shit now. 30 FPS especially. I'm going to play this shit on PC and play this shit above 30 FPS for sure. Believe that. I would never, ever, ever play this shit on an Xbox Series console, but I digress. So all these things in combination with each other, right? This game is proven to be their first big, big banger game of the year. Their first big exclusive of the year for Xbox. And it's five hours long, 30 FPS, no ray tracing on the world's most powerful console, man. Uh, this this game is not going to be it, man. It's not going to be it. It's not going to move the needle for Xbox. And they fucking know that because they even price this thing at 50 goddamn dollars. They know it's not worthy of a fucking $70 price tag. Not because of the length, just because everything's involved with it. It's going to be a 30 FPS uninspired. You know, it's it's going to be a five hour tech demo, but is it really a tech demo when it can't go over 30 fucking frames per second? All I can say, man, is get used to this shit, because Xbox has no quality control. They don't give a fuck about you as a consumer. They especially don't give a fuck about the Xbox console player at all, because the best way to play this game, obviously, is going to be on PC. It's like, well, if you got a potato PC, well, the way fucking PC is, even if their PC is technically weaker than Xbox Series X, it's still going to let them go over 30 frames per second, maybe 1080p 60, however you want to do it, but it's going to go over 30 FPS, they'll have that option, it is locked on console, 30 FPS, you have no other choice, you have no other option, so PC for me is going to be a way to go, but it's clear they don't give a fuck about the Xbox console player especially, so get used to this shit, because first you had Redfall, which I don't know how the fuck that was even 30 FPS to begin with, they passed in later to 60 FPS, you got Starfield still to this motherfucking day. Is 30 FPS locked on Xbox Series X? Fucking pathetic. And now you got Hellblade coming out in late May, and it's locked at 30 frames per second on an Xbox Series X, the world's most powerful console. Fucking pathetic. So get ready for everything else. Get ready for a Valve to be 30 FPS. Get ready for Clockwork Revolution to be 30 FPS. And what other bullshit they're gonna put out in, that, in, in, in this year or the next? It's gonna be 30 fucking frames per second. I don't know why. And the last thing is, look how tone deaf Xbox is as a company. Look, look at this shit. They put a post up saying how a game plays versus how a game looks. And they got the arrow going to how a game plays. The fucking audacity, the fucking tone deaf, the fucking... Uh, the, how shows how out of touch they are. They have since deleted that tweet. Hmm, I wonder why. So good luck, have fun, power your dreams, all that bullshit. Talk to you guys next time, thanks. Oh.